So one of the great things about Freemasonry is the fact that we get to travel around the world and visit our brethren in the various jurisdictions. Today, no guessing who, I'm off to Hawaii. So let's go on this journey across a vast distance, 11 hours flight, and get to a first degree at Honolulu Lodge. All right, what are we doing? Going to Hawaii, mate. Going to Hawaii. Going to Honolulu Lodge? Yep. It's All right, good, mate. Let's go. Let's see how far she can go on this. What? Go. Oh, I'm moving quick, ready? Oh, no. It's stationary. I'm, I'm stationary as well as moving. That's how it's done. All, All right. right. Northern District Secretary. Looking forward to the flight? Absolutely not. All right. Cool. What about yourself, Jack? No, not really. No, not real. But we'll be there in 12 hours. 12 hours. 12 hours isn't very long. Okay, so we're at the airport and we are going to be boarding about an hour and a half and it's really awesome that we're doing this because we've been working hard and now it's time for a bit of a rest. But of course, we'll see you on the other side. Going, guys, looks like we're taking off. Very close, very close. Yep, checks pumped, looks pumped. Jack's scared of flying, so I'll see these guys. Take a second by the audience, chat. Right, goodbye. Hi, guys, we're counting down to the lodge meeting. It is currently around about six or so o'clock here in Honolulu, and it's been a fantastic first day. No sleep for over 24 hours, but that's not going to stop our motivation. In fact, I'm going to get you to have a look at this wonderful view we have from our hotel room. That is Honolulu. It is absolutely brilliant, especially today when the sun was out. So we're really looking forward to spending time with our brethren at the Honolulu Lodge. It'll be fantastic to see an American first degree in action. So let's see how we go. All right, so we couldn't record what actually happened in the lodge, obviously, but we did have a great time. We went to the Honolulu Lodge and we saw what was a really unique ceremony, a great first degree, a fantastic candidate, and it really did sort of show that despite the fact that we come from different countries, we speak slightly different dialects of English, we have slightly, well, in this case, really different ritual, we are actually quite united in terms of what Freemasonry is. And the Honolulu Lodge felt like home, despite the fact that we live thousands of miles away and that this was our first time visiting a Tolan Lodge. After we had the excellent opportunity to participate in the first degree and to be part of the ceremony, we then went to the south. Um, we had cigars, we had beer that was made by the candidate. That's why it's a great candidate. Mostly you could join any lodge in the world if you wanted to, especially ours. And we had a great time. It was real social, fraternal brotherhood and we got to know some of the great members of not only the Honolulu Lodge and ancient accepted Freemasonry, but also members of the Prince Hall jurisdiction who came to visit as well. So, Reverend, I think what this blog hopefully shows you is that Freemasonry is really universal and the practices and the principles we preach are all around the world. So, to a brother who's just joined or to someone who's thinking about joining, the Blue Land Social Club is about bringing young members together, but also recruiting, retaining, and, and, and educating young members as much as we can. We have brethren and friends all around the world. You just don't know it yet. So get out there and visit. It's a real honour to go to Honolulu Lodge during our holiday for life. And my name is Brother Jack Aquilina. I'm the State President of the Blue Land Social Club of Victoria and the Chairman of the International Association of Blue Land Social Clubs around the world.